the greatness of the Russian Sukhoi S-70 Alkotnik drone. In an effort to develop Russia's air power strategy, the Sukhoi Design Bureau Aviation Industry, together with the Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG, have succeeded in developing a heavy-class unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV-slash-drone, with stealth technology named the Sukhoi S-70 Alkotnik B or Hunter B. The Sukhoi S-70 Alkotnik is the sixth-generation UCAV project which began in 2011, taking the basis of the MiG design, McCoy and SCAT, and adopting some of the technologies of the Su-57 Felon fighter. The S-70 Okotnik is manufactured at the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association plant, under the auspices of Rostec. The wingspan of the 20-ton UCAV is 20 meters. The S-70 Okotnik uses one turbofan Saturn AL-41F asterisk, engine that can fly at a speed of 1,000 km slash hour with a maximum range of 6,000 km with a flat jet nozzle design to reduce radar signature from enemy radar monitoring. This UCAV was tested for the first time in 2019 while still using a traditional round nozzle capable of carrying a load of two tons of weapons. The Saturn AL-41F turbofan engine is the engine used by the Su-35 flanker and the initial version of the Su-57 Felon. NATO circles call the S-70 Okotnik the Russian Loyal Wingman, or Skyborg Systems. Apart from being able to carry out MUMT missions with fighter aircraft, such as the Su-57, this UCAV can also be operated independently slash solo mission. The flight test of the new model was carried out at the Novosibirsk Aviation Plant, VP slash Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association, NEPIO, Shkala, Southwest Siberia, attended by the Deputy Minister of Defense of Russia, Alexei Krivorichko. For solo missions, the manufacturer has created a new ground control center to meet the standard requirements of the Russian Armed Forces. In the flight test of the new version of the S-70 Okotnik, it flew with a full avionics configuration in automated mode for the ability to fly tandem Memium T, and at that time it was carried out with the S-57 fighter for 30 minutes. During the flight test, the S-70 Okotnik provided an augmentation sensor to the Su-57 in the sense that the radar on the S-70 absorbed monitoring to continue on to the Su-57 radar so that the radar monitoring on the Su-57 became farther away, so that it could monitor objects outside the range of the defense radar, opponent's air, as well as the range of the opponent's air defense missiles. Stealth technology on the S-70 is applied to its wing design, which also uses special materials and paints that greatly reduce the radar signature, presumably using radar-absorbent material, RAM, or also using radar wave deadening structures, making it difficult to detect clearly. The S-70 is equipped with optoelectronic and radar sensors, which are effective for reconnaissance missions. This change in nozzle design on the second S-70, a design with a flat jet nozzle slash stealthier nozzle configuration, is seen by some UAV slash UCAV observers as resembling the design on the Boeing X-45, a UCAV demonstrator. Additional protrusions, protruding decking, at the top and bottom can protect themselves from absorption by radar or infrared tracking, especially from below and from above. In order to support independent operations slash solo missions, Rostec has developed a ground control station to control the S-70, equipped with command control facilities and data links, which will enable the S-70 to carry out operations according to the wishes of the Russian armed forces. Thus, the S-70 can be effectively operated in formations other than MUMT NATO also predicts whether the S-70 UCAV will be paired MEMUMT with the Russian PAKDA strategic bomber, which is currently being developed, also applying stealth technology.